All right, so the yeah part of this is going to be a bit herky jerky. It's just I forgot about um, uh, moving this cavalry division, which is the shoot. I just had it out. The sixth cavalry division, I do believe. Um, nope, sorry, the ninth. Um, yeah, and it looks like I thought at first I had uh, with the Russians had. Oh, here I'll zoom out a bit so you can get a bit more context, and then we'll go right back in again. Well, you don't really need to see it, actually. Um, so, uh, or I will bring it back in. Anyways, I thought I had put in enough zone, uh, enemy zones of control issues for the cavalry that they wouldn't be, they would still be uh, surrounded. But I think um, they'll be able to, um, yeah, they'll be able to uh, do a line of communication through here because they'll be able to get to here. Pretty sure so we'll see but I'm pretty darn sure they will be so because they have six so that's um, one movement point and then uh, two to get out of a zone of control and then a third one to get back into one uh, then four points uh, five points to get out of one and six points to get into one so they're stuck there Um, but they can, they, they can do a line of communication here. So they're, oh, sorry. Um, there we go. So they can do a line, of, uh, they do have a line of communication here. So they're no longer surrounded, but, and the nice thing is, is they did sever the double rail line, but that's, uh, you know, whatever. Um, so I have completed the moves. I've written them all down. Um, I don't have time to do them before work starts. But I forgot about uh, three isolated units over, well, I'll bring it over now. And there's going to be an attempted breakout. This is awesome. Uh, I've never done one before, like a proper one. And because it's so pitifully low, you're going to see all that modifiers. It's like, holy shoot. Um, I'll see if I can bring it in. Yeah, I'm not using, I, I just don't have time to set everything up before work. So, but I want to do this. Um, and then I can just get the movement done. And there won't be any combats other than this thing. And um, I'll bring it, zoom it in a bit, and then uh, we can get into the dice thing and all that stuff, I think. Um, or, yeah. I'm just I'm trying to figure out everything here. Um, so, here we go. So, uh, number 16 over here. Let me go get the thing. They're screwed. There's nowhere they, there's nowhere they can go. So they're going to have to surrender, and they'll be lost. That's the 8th Cavalry Division. Because if you remember, this is not real. Uh, anything above here, this area here, uh, this shouldn't exist. I'm just using it as a reference point way back when, when I wanted to know where these rail lines were dis going to. I had no idea. Um, so that's part of, like, if you were going to play, uh, you know, a another scenario such as maybe um, uh, uh, the Golitsa uh, uh, Tarnov breakthrough, you would you would put on map 4 or 5 N. We're not, uh, we're, we're not using it. But I just, like I said, it's just for reference points. So they're gone. So now we've got uh, number 18 here, BG-18, and they are, hold on, I've written some of this stuff down, but it's going to be bad, and that's why I'm like, okay, we're going to be using the sock, and we're going to be using the, my funky doubling down thing. Um, so the 6th Cavalry Division are here, and they've got two strength points. Oh, shoot, I didn't put, uh, uh, oh, I did, oh, what am I talking about? I'm back to here, sorry. Uh, number 18 has got uh, the 6th Cavalry Division has two strength points. Uh, so they're going to attempt a, an attempted breakout on number 56 here. I mean, that's the coordinate. It's the only way they can go, really, uh, to coordinate. I was thinking of maybe, um, you know, moving it by. It's like, no, let's let's just not no movement and then breakout because I think actually they probably would prefer to go to that one. I don't know. But if I recall, I think that's a better option, but tough. We're going, with, we're going this way. And that's still close. It's still getting to the border. And I'll zoom out again so you can get a bit more context, but they're screwed. Uh, well, not screwed. I think it's just going to be it's going to be a bit of a bloodbath. And because when you see all the modifiers, yeah, maybe I'll just zoom out again. You don't need to see the whole universe, do you? Uh, and I'll, yeah, uh, hold on. I'm assuming you can do everything here. Hold on. There we go. So that way you can see everything, I hope. Um, come on, you little bastard. Yeah. So, yeah, 
Uh, yeah, let's just go with this. Um, so number seven, yeah, so they're going to, uh, an attempted breakout here. So, and when you see all the horrible modifiers that's going to happen to them, happen to them because they're unsupplied uh, and doing a breakout it's not very nice so number 17 is the second infantry division and they have seven strength points they're normally uh, eight <coughs> excuse me because I got some water now according to section 22 uh, the Germans will attack at one quarter strength since they're unsupplied and uh, uh, doing a breakout. Oh my God. Um, and also according to section 23, for unsupplied breakout attempts, uh, 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 it's not called breakout attempts, but you know what I mean, for an attack, uh, one strength point per division is eliminated prior to the at breakout attempt, prior to the attack. Oh, jeepers jumping. Um, and they, those strength points are considered to have surrendered uh, prior to the attack. So uh, that means that one strength point from the 2-6 um, Cavalry Division um, are eliminated and considered to have surrendered. And because they're cavalry, that's double the normal points that you would see from a, a, an infantry point. So that's four demoralization points for the Germans. And then uh, one strength point from uh, these uh, these guys are going to be eliminated. I might as well take pop uh, turn it into a six um, since it's real. And since they're surrendering, that'll be uh, oops, I just popped it in the wrong thing. There we go. Uh, that'll be uh, two points. So that's uh, six demoralization points right off the bat that um, the Germans have just accumulated for this breakout attempt. Excuse me. So, that means their new strength point total is 7. And their effective breakout attacking strength points, therefore, is 7 divided by 4. And according to the, uh, the thing, um, you, you round to the nearest number for this. So that's 1.75, so that'll be 2 strength points. And like I said, we're going to go with the crazy funky stuff here because... Uh, come on, man. Uh, let's take a look here. Oh! I'll let you know what's uh, what's under uh, uh, behind door number one here. Uh, that's um, the Fourteenth Reserve Siberian Infantry Division, and they have three strength points. So I'll pop uh, the little thing on for that. So yeah, this could be a bloody, you know. And like I said, what's the point? There's you might as well go for it. These guys, like they know, like this is it. Uh, maybe this is like the perfect little, you know, uh, thing to try here. So there we go. They're going to try to break out. So here we go with the cubes and, uh, oh, where's my doubling down die? Oh yeah, and I'm going to go as, I'm going to go uh, try as much as I can here. Uh, to the point, I mean, I'm not going to be completely nuts, but, oh, come on, let's not get our freaking red cube the first off. But if that's the case, then that's the case. What a disaster, man. Yeah, oh, shoot, I was supposed to show the, uh, the, um, so there, you can see at two, they need a, a six, seven, or an eight, oh yeah, I've got to look at the, uh, uh, terrain here. They're clear. So no modifier, so right off the bat, they would need a, and since the 14th Reserve Siberian Infantry Division with three strength points, and they're Russians, means uh, the Germans only need to inflict one hit to force these guys to retreat. They could advance. I mean, they're still in trouble, but I mean, I'm gonna have I'm gonna have fun with this. Um, yeah. So they need a six. Um, so let's increase the odds. Let's see if we can increase the odds here. It's not gonna be very. Uh, still not gonna be very good, but I, you know, I just want to have some fun for crying out loud. Yeah, and there won't be any combats later with the movements. It'll just be, um, oh, we're going to be moving stuff around, a ton of divisional breakdowns as usual. And then um, I'll do all the paperwork in the background, like over the weekend, but then um, we can um, 
Find out who's going to be winning the initiative on the 01 November. That'll be totally cool. Oh, come on, man. But if this, you know, this is part of the narrative. Oh! Okay, so now they're up to three. I just got to write this down so I make sure. So their effective strength points is now three. I'm going to double down and get a plus one to my die roll. It, if I don't get a two. And it's an eight. Oh, shoot. I don't know if you can see that. I'll try to bring it in more. Maybe that'll help. I hope. So that's an eight. So now that means they're going to get a plus one. Oh, sweet. This is getting crit. Now I'm like, no. Nah. It's so different when I'm playing my miniatures game because it's only about command and control in a sense. It gets to the point where it's like, okay, you know, what move do I really find more important and take a risk at and so on and so forth. You really have to prioritize what you're doing. It's really fun. Okay, here we go. Oh, Jesus, Murphy. Come on, man. Yes! Okay, so now we're up to four strength points. And of course, I'm going to double down. What do you think? I'm nuts. So as long as I don't get a two or a four, I should be good. It's a 32. Yes! So now we're up to f four strength points with a plus two modifier. Let's take a look and see what we can do here. What are my odds? Maybe that's the way to start looking at it. So a four um, with a plus two modifier. So let's say the worst I can roll is a three. I can't. So what I'd like to do is get to five, I think. Because that way at least I'm, I'm guaranteed a hit. Does that make sense? Maybe I'm wrong. <sighs> I love this. Okay. It's like good stress, right? I mean, this is, uh, like, what the hell? It's not real. Uh, you know, versus, like, your house is going to blow up or something. Um, oh, come on, let's go. Come on. <laughs> come on, baby. No, no! Oh, I had such high hopes, man. Oh, that sucks. So that means... Oh, shoot. Uh, that means uh, the poor... So, well, that's the end of that. Oh, my God. So that means the, um, the 6th Cavalry Division and the 2nd Infantry Division will still attack with uh, two strength points. And... The Russians, oh my god, well, they have three strength points. I was going to write this down. This is nuts. Well, it's welcome to what you did. Um, so Russians have three strength points, but now they're going to get... Oh yeah, I said I, um, uh, uh, it's after the uh, calculations. Yeah, so their initial effective, uh, so that's unsupplied. That's 1.5. <coughs> Sorry, I gotta get some more water. Oh my god. Alright. And they, they're not... Uh, wait a minute, what am I doing? I, I can't do that yet. I've got to uh, roll because um, they may be... F uh, they may... Um, uh, be forced to retreat, which would affect their retreat, uh, uh, effective uh, counterattacking uh, bits, right? Because it would be, uh, sorry, I shouldn't say right, but um, so half of their strength points because they're unsupplied, but it could be times two if um, they have to retreat and uh, times three if they don't. If that makes any sense. But yeah, of course it makes any sense. So now the Germans attack, yeah, with two strength points, and I think they need a six. Oh, oh well, it was it was fun while it lasted. I thought I really did have a good feeling, man. Oh well, well it didn't work, did it? Okay, I'll bring it out. Um, try to. Well, it doesn't really matter, does it anymore? I guess you could hold on. Where do I? Let's bring. It. I just want you like you to see the whole. There we go. And we're there. Okay. 
Or I'll put a little pink thing, so there's my pink dude. Hopefully that helps, I hope. Yeah. Okay, so here we go. It's a six, see? Holy F, I'm glad I, uh, I did it here. So, um, oh shoot. So, uh, a two strength points on a six is one, uh, one hit. Forces the Russians to retreat. Um, so now it's 1.5. Uh, just times two, so that's three strength points that they would have uh, counterattacked with initially, but that's not the case anymore because the Germans went berserk and now they've given the uh, they've oh my god, so that means uh, remember because it's the failure of what you were trying for. And since the Germans were trying to do five, uh, to shift over, like to get an extra five strength points when they rolled, so uh, that's up to, Russians now get to use the eight strength points, and they'll get plus two to their die roll. Oh, jeez. Oh, that's the way it goes. <laughs> ah, oh, I'm liking this, man. All right, here we go. It's a five. Jesus Christ on a crutch. What the hell, man? This is fun as hell. Okay, so we're at eight strength points. <laughs> uh, so we've maxed the bloody thing out, that's for sure. Um, as you can see here, um, uh, eight with the five, and they're getting a, what was it? Oh, sorry, it's just plus two, so shush, shush. Um, five, so they get, um, uh, plus two. Uh, so that's seven, uh, two hits on the seven. Wow, still, eh? Okay, that's two hits, and now I have to find out how they uh, take their hits. And remember, uh, attacking cavalry... Well, I shouldn't say remember. I should remember. I was the one that was not doing it for ages. Um, that means that um, uh, the cavalry will be eliminated because they're the first ones to take uh, strength point uh, damage, and the only they're only down to one because of that uh, unsupplied breakout attempt. So they're gone. Jeez, and that's an additional two demoralization points <coughs> for the Germans because it's cavalry. Holy jeepers! Sorry. Oh shoot! What did I knock over there? Yeah, we'll do. We'll deal with that later. No biggie. <coughs> Probably here, I would assume. Come on, cough. And then that means these guys will have to also um, will take one more hit. Okay, these guys have to retreat. And I guess they go to here for now, I guess. I don't know. I think they're still, I think they're, I think they're um, screwed. Somehow, I, I think so. Yeah, I mean, they're still out of a zone or whatever. Hmm. Or should they have? No, because uh, they have to go to their nearest headquarters, but their nearest headquarters is that way, so maybe it should have been that way. No, I, I like that. That's a good one. Um, it would have wouldn't have mattered anyways. They're still in enemy zones of control, so that would have been down to five. I think I've done this right. I've, um, and then I think they're still, I think they're now still uh, considered not uh, with a line of communication because of all those zones of control. So, I mean, it was, a, you know, maybe just a fun little bloody narrative, maybe. They're still going to, like, all... Well, maybe not, because, um, what am I saying? That is, technically, I guess you're, you're saving yourself one demoralization point or so. Because <coughs> that would have, that, uh, that one strength point would have surrendered when these guys all do. That's still going to be another ten demoralization points when they go. Oh, my God. 
yeah, and there won't be a combat over here. It was just, like I said, uh, just an idea. But um, hopefully, uh, hopefully I did it right, and everybody kind of gets a, a good idea of what uh, how horrible things can happen when you do uh, attempted breakouts and whatnot, and also use my crazy stuff. Okay, uh, good Friday to you, man.